Welcome to our online service today on this Mother's Day. My name is Tom Harricks and I'm one of the ministers here at church. Uh, as we begin our time together, I'd love to invite you to get in touch with us. You can get in touch with us for any reason. We'd love to hear from you and we'll get back in touch with you. You can do that through the Connect card uh, at the link below. On this Mother's Day, uh, some of us will be spending the day celebrating, and giving thanks for the mum that uh, God has given us. Uh, for some of us, the gift of being a mum ourselves, a special welcome and a happy Mother's Day to you if you're a mum watching us today. It's also possible that for some of us, Mother's Day is, is a hard day. Uh, some of us might have lost our mum recently, even in this last year. Uh, for some of us, uh, our relationship with our mum isn't all that it could be. Uh, some of us might long to be a mum, but aren't one or, or, or can't be one. So there's a, there's a complexity of emotions on a day like today. And so with this in mind, we're going to begin our time uh, speaking with God, uh, praying. So let me uh, lead us in prayer. Our great God and loving Heavenly Father, thank you for providing us with the gift of families and especially for our mothers who loved and cared for us. Uh, thank you for the good gift that mothers have been to us for their example and for their instruction. And they're often uh, selfless and patient service. Uh, help us uh, to follow the example of Jesus so that we might honour our mums appropriately in all stages of our lives. Uh, strengthen and preserve all women who are pregnant. Watch over their unborn children. I give energy to mothers of younger children, give wisdom to those who are currently raising teenagers and give patience, kindness and self-control uh, to all parents. And Father, we do pray for those who grieve on uh, this day. Uh, we pray for those who are separated from their mothers, um, for, for mothers without uh, their children. Uh, for various reasons, for, and for those who would like to be mothers uh, but uh, are not. Uh, and so, Father, as you are the God who promises to comfort your people uh, like a mother comforts her child, please be our comfort now and always through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, friends, we now have uh, the opportunity to share in the words of our first hymn, Amazing Grace. And it's a great hymn to begin with because it reminds us uh, that uh, whatever things look like today, whether we're celebrating or seeking comfort, we can turn to God who is always incredibly kind to us, particularly in the form of his son, Jesus Christ. Let's sing together. <laughs> 